Hi everyone, my name is Anton. In today's video I will tell you how to accelerate your inference for the Arcanine platform. Primarily for models with multiply NPUs like Rockchip 3588 and 3588S. But there will be a little bit of more general information. I will compare different approaches and tell you which one is the best. If we consider the official examples, they primarily suggest the use of such construction. Also, in the later version of the documentation, they write Multicore operation is suitable for networks with a large amount of calculations. A little improvement for small networks and may even lead to performance degradation due to single core and multi core switching. The switching is required. CPU intervention. But the documentation doesn't say a word about how its work and where it should be used. Also in the documentation there is no single example of what is multi-core switching. But it's a clear that there are uh, three ways of inference. Single core inference, multi-core inference and multi-core switching. The examples mostly use single-core inference and multi-core inference. As, and as you can understand, uh, it's NPU core 0, 1, 2 and NPU core with the number of this NPU. Well, the mystery multi-core switching is essentially inference in parallel threads. Each core is initialized independently. It's not in the official examples, but you can find a lot of examples in the internet. Like this one, or this one, or this one. But somehow they all have the same problem. To analyze frames per second value, the authors run a reading of the camera or a video file. It's not a good idea. Uh, in the case of a camera, theoretically, it's impossible to infer more frames than its camera can give you. For example, this camera is give me like 60 frames per second. I can't run like 100 FPS on this camera. In the case on inference from a file, everything is also not so simple. The speed may decrease due to a suboptimal video decoder, especially on some NPU board, and the rendering of the image to the screen with CV2 uh, image show and the CV2 wait K command, uh, like CV2 wait K require one millisecond and at least it's uh, if you have 70 frames per, per second it's already will be a loss of 70 milliseconds. I fixed these issues right like minimalistic example and tried to test several networks in every possible way to evaluate the optimal inference methods. In doing so I made few assumptions. I only target the networks itself without post-processing. And of course post-processing is super important like for YOLO or for some other detection networks. And it can be pretty slow, so it can affect your inference speed. I launched without a camera using a same image. But it almost doesn't matter because I want to have a clear information about what amount of frames per second do I have. I tested it in Python. Of course it will affect a little and with C++ the speed may be a little bit better. Okay. Results are like this one. And they are pretty interesting. The most efficient way to infer in 12 independent processes. 
and NPU core one, like zero, one, two, effective is only for uh, small networks. And it's the, it's contradict the initial statement in official documentation. Like you can optimize your small network. Probably there are some different network that will be efficient. But I checked like on 10 different networks and NPU core 0 and 2 effective is only on the smallest of them. Interesting point. The increase in batch size will lead to decreasing of the speed. I think it's the first platform when I saw the, this. And on official repository issue tracker there are a few mentions about same prob like same issues. I don't know what is it and I don't know how to fix this. If anyone knows the solution, please write it. In my opinion, it's pretty interesting. I will give the link on the best sample code that will give you the best speed. But of course you can use the repository I already mentioned. Just don't infer from the kernel. I will comment just append just a few additional words. First of all, I look in here on the inference speed, but not on the latency. If you need to minimize your latency, probably you need to use like NPU core with number on or NPU core 012 because if we're speaking about the latency you need the best uh, feedback that you can get and it's definitely not in multiprocessing case the second small uh, problem in my example i put like 1000 images in stack but on a practic uh, like you need how to manage it and depending on your managing strategy it can decrease your speed of course so i hope it was interesting uh, one of my next videos will be about raspberry pi 5 and um, i will discuss what the most what's the best strategy to infer networks on the raspberry 5 so subscribe I hope it will be interesting. Bye.